driving me crazy. I just wanna be free. everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to do a bit of uh, jigging a bit of live baiting and um, we're in the deep water again at 80 meters and we're going to see if we can catch some amberjack uh, maybe some snapper still hanging around here and we'll try various techniques and see how we go thanks for joining us again uh, I'm gonna get right into it speak to you later You probably saw me use this little thing called a bait mate, which is a little tool for rigging up live bait. I'm going to try it again today. These are the prototypes. Um, basically, there's a little o ring that we push through the hook, and then we have this little plug at the end here, which is sort of the thing that pushes through the live bait and then becomes like the little cl the clamp to keep the live bait um, from getting away from the hook. So, with this little applicator tool, I can push this through the, uh, the fish and and from there, release it, and then that becomes the clamp to hold the bait to the hook. All right, so I'll let me grab a live bait. Being fortunate to get some yakets today, uh, sorry, some slimy mackerels today, which are a very nice bait. And there's a couple of ways you can do this, but I'm gonna go up through the bottom of the mouth, push it through, and there you go. So pretty, pretty quickly, he's been rigged. Put him in the water, let's find a spot to fish. There's a bit, bit reasonable showing at the moment here on the bottom, so let's see if that helps. This is the uh, Paternoster rig, usual single hook Paternoster rig. Uh, only difference this time is hey, it's a slummy mackerel, not a yakka, and I'm using the bait mate um, little rig. And oh, I thought we were on. It felt like we were actually on already then. <laughs> they're on the bottom now though. Sun's got a bit of bite to it already. Oops, what's going on here? Yep. Yeah, we got one now. an amberjack or something. Got a nice little tug on it. What have we got? A little kingy or a little amberjack, who knows? bit easier. And as we say, if coming up from 80 meters is always a bit tricky. Oh man. Just want to turn my ski around. That's better. I think it's an amberjack. What is this? Yeah. Nice little amberjack. Now they have to be, oh, I think it's 75. Or is it 50? <laughs> I better look it up, I've forgotten how. 
what's the legal limit on these things, but he looks pretty legal. Yeah, he's on the 70. Uh, he's still going, he's still kicking. It's a uh, amberjack and it's a 70 centimetre amberjack, which very nice eating these ones. We'll, we're gonna, gonna keep him. Very slimy. <laughs> I should see the fish below me. I almost feel like just leaving this and just quickly dropping a jig down. There is a lot of fish right below me now. Huge. Huge on the sounder. Let's see what we can do. Okay, just going to spin around. Uh, a lot of fish. It could just be, could be baits, but normally there'll be some predators hanging around on top of them, so whether we can uh, jig through that last 10 metres of fish there on the bottom and just see if we can catch something. Once again, you saw the live bait uh, did the trick very quickly. That was like, what, in the water for a minute or so? Uh, I guess the technique really is just to make sure you can find the bait. You'll find the fish around the bait. Predators, I'm always looking for fish up the water column, uh, not just sitting on the bottom. I'm looking for those fish that are hanging around the bait. And there is... This is a known amberjack spot actually this time of year and obviously there's some around. Miho has caught some, I've caught one. I think I might just go back to live bait though for now. All I need is two of those. That's my, well that is the legal bag limit here in Queensland, Australia. Uh, two of those though would be a good day. Go and try targeting something else after that. Maybe just drop back to the uh, floating wafting the uh, dead bait down and seeing if I can get some snapper, pearl perch, who knows what's down there. So we're only at uh, 8.20 in the morning and again I can feel the, I can feel the uh, sun burning already. Now I'm a uh, fair skinned blue eyed person who has a lot of sun damage, uh, mostly from my youth actually and growing up here we spent a lot of time in the water, um, in school holidays, surfing, swimming, you know, snorkeling, all those sort of usual things. And I really have to be careful. Um, many, many things cut out of my skin burn off already. And um, you'll see me sometimes I'll switch to a broad bin uh, hat. Normally the when the sun's a little bit higher, I'll do that because it just gives me a bit more coverage and the sun's getting really intense. Anyway, I better deal with this amberjack and then I'll switch back to live bait again. Come back to you in a minute. Yep. Hey. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. bigger or it's got a bit more fight in it whatever it is there's another AJ I would say it's just what we want two of them here it comes Big at this one. And the magic of live bait and circle hooks <sighs> makes fishing look easy. About the same size, maybe a little bit bigger. A bit broader in the shoulder, that's for sure.
Lift it into the footwell. Yeah, there we go. About the same size, I reckon. Pitch is good. Corner of the mouth hook up, you can see there. That's why we use circle hooks. So when the jigs weren't working, live bait is working. So very happy to get a couple of those today. The wind's starting to drop right off now too, which is good. We might be able to uh, try something else. Hold on tight. There we go. Nice little amberjack. It's probably much the same, I would say. Yeah, pretty much 71 or something like that. 70, 71 centimeters, which is uh, awesome. Okay, going back to float lining. I've got my two AJs. I want to see if I can get some snapper or some pearl perch. So float, floating down a dead um, yakka. Butterfly yakka. It's very slow when you're dropping in 80 meters but the slower the waft the more chance. A nice a few nice head nods. Oh, so tired. <laughs> I was fishing on a pilchard, so I don't think it'll be an amberjack. It's just about giving up now anyway, whatever it is. I had a good dig at the start, but it's giving up now. Oh, just a big snapper. A good snapper. Oh. That's not what I expected. Oh, jeez. Wow, I did not expect the snapper that side. Oh, look at the fish under me now. Mark this spot, because the fish are on. Here, yeah, buddy. A really good snapper over here, and there's a, quite a good showing, mate. Oh, I'm on my way. I just got a big snapper, and it looks like I've got another one as well. I'm, I'm coming now. Yeah, uh, maybe they're on. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> ah, that's all right. Hey, it's about a 65 centimeter snapper. Oh, he's a big fat boy too. Very good, very good. Quite happy with the, with that one. Yeah. Just having the last drop. I caught another two little babies. Huh? I caught two babies. Snapper. Just have this drop and then we'll go. Where's uh, Steve? Sorry? Where's Steve gone? Uh, he's going to be sitting this way. Sorry? He's sitting this way. Oh, okay. Let him know we're going on the radio. Have you told him? No, could you, could you do it? Just get this in and we'll go. 
Got a spectators. There's heaps of snapper in the water column now. Yeah. This one's better. There we go. Not a bad one to finish up with too. Uh, it's about a 50. Back, you the limit or? No, I've only got two through back a lot, so that's all right. Because AJ's, I got 270 AJ's too. So oh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, <laughs> all right, so I'm just having one more drift, and then it's time to go back. We're getting to that point where the fuel's getting a bit short, so we're going to have to hit the hit the track back. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you did, enjoy the video, and also that subscribe button if you're a newbie. See you soon.